funny thing about this too is NASA can't even figure out the math on where it's actually going to hit because it keeps on going back and forth, it's wobbling. Now that's the funny part, NASA doesn't even know the real story to it. Why is the government lying to us? What did we do wrong? We're just workers, just like ants. We work, they work for the queen. Well, we're working for our government to help them make money to what they want to build. They want us to stay up here when Ellen comes, where they're building underground bases down there for all high top people, military people, scientists, uh, everyone that has a basically high IQ is basically they're going to be voting to go in there. Um, the people that are low life, that I mean like uh, like us, we are not in the government or anything. We are the, going to be the ones that are going to be suffering on this. And this is not fair for us because it's just not going to happen like that. We're, we have to figure out something. you got to prepare yourself for this. If you don't prepare yourself for all this information that's going to happen, when it comes, your mind's going to be rendering like a thousand questions. Why this? Why that? Why did this come? Why wouldn't this come later on? Well, Alan orbits our universe every 3,000 years it comes by. The closest it is going to uh, come to us is she's going to come right by us at first. And once she comes right by us, we're going to run into her back orbit. A lot of people are not realizing that part either because there's a trail behind that, just like a meteor, and it's we're gonna fucking die. Area 51 has 37 levels underground. If you look on Google Earth, you can see wires running underneath the ground. The tunnels actually run from California all the way up to New York City. Look at this place. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful. Really gorgeous. You're not going to see this land here for long. 2000. September. It doesn't matter how close this planet comes to us, it's the fire that's in front of it that will hurt us. That's the whole point of this race. NASA's hiding something. We don't know what NASA is hiding, but they are hiding the truth from us, some way, somehow. We need to know the answers. If you want to know the answers, do your own research because the government's not going to tell you shit. It's there. Ellen Comet is right there. She will be coming in within a few more months and you will be available to see her. So everyone's talking about it right now, we have Alan and Honda comets coming in to our atmosphere, into our orbit. Uh, Alan will be seen on this direction right here when she uh, is closer. Uh, she will be coming in around September, in the middle of September. Honda's going to be coming in in the middle of August. I have a map, and I'll show you guys the map of this, uh, the comet. There is a war going to be coming soon. The 
Universe War. UFOs are up there already. You have to believe it, man. If you guys don't believe it, look into your info shit, man. Because it's true. It is true. They're out there. They're either protecting us or they're going against us. Earthquakes, tornadoes, tsunamis, storms that are going to be worse that are proven today. It's been seen already. We saw volcanoes erupt. We have seen earthquakes happen. We've seen floods are happening. These are signs, people. These are signs. Signs of nature that's going to destroy us. Look at this land. It is so beautiful, isn't it? Well, it's not going to look good after Ellen comes by. When she brings her big atmospheres of polar chefs and everything, her solar storms, it's not going to be so beautiful afterwards. So you might as well take the advantage that you have. Thunderstorms, nuclear fall, war, decease. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. travel to another planet. Then you recreate yourself as a baby again. Life can be such full, beautiful things in so many ways. But life can also be disastrous too. Like we have on this earth. Good and bad. Beautiful place, bad weather. 